Hey everyone! In this video we are going to show you our newest feature, the shared access for teammates. With this feature you can give access to your websites and collaborate with members of your team without sharing your Google account credentials. All you need to do is to invite your teammate as an editor. Here's how you can do this. In your Spread Simple dashboard, go to the new settings tab named Workspaces. Here you can change the name of your workspace, which is basically your website list. And you can invite your teammate by entering their email address and clicking on Invite Members button. Please note, it should be either Gmail or Google Workspace account. After this, your teammate will get an email invitation to join your workspace. After they accept it, they will be redirected to a spread simple page where they need to sign in or sign up if they don't have a spread simple account yet. Then, after they click on join, they will be redirected to your workspace, your website list. Now your editor can switch between two workspaces, their own and yours. In your workspace, the editor can use tags to filter the website list and find the necessary projects. They can create new websites or manage the existing ones. For example, they can downgrade a website to free or vice versa upgrade it to pro but only if the workspace owner has available Pro licenses. The editors cannot change the number of licenses in your workspace and they cannot delete websites. Once the editor starts working on the website, you should be able to see their icon on the website card. This means that the website is currently open in your teammate's browser. Several users cannot edit one website at the same time as it may lead to conflicts and data loss. Instead, if you want to start editing yourself, you can take over the editing. After you click on take over, your editor will have 60 seconds to accept or decline your request. If they don't respond, for example, if they are currently away from keyboard, you will automatically get access of the website editor. But if your teammate accepts your request, they will be automatically redirected to the main menu without saving the changes. If they decline your request, the editor will keep working on the website and you will get the message that your takeover request was declined. After your collaboration is over, you can remove your teammate from the editors and restrict access to your website. You can do this in your workspace settings. Just click on the dustbin icon and confirm it. That's it. If you have any questions, we will be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned.